Mustache is the first paraglider in 40 years of paragliding history that doesn't only allow you to turn left or right, that allows you to go down and to have the full control over your lift and your glide ratio. How to fly your moustache? Your moustache really looks like just another paraglider, but it's not at all, and it needs to be flown very different. You need to relearn how to fly it, no matter your skill level. Flying a moustache requires new skills, and the location you fly your moustache is very important. It can be easier than paragliding, but could also be as difficult that even an experienced pilot can't top land in his home spot anymore without enough training. We are now going to explain you how to learn to fly your moustache safely. Before you fly the moustache, you need to understand how the flare system works. You need to understand the new risers. It's very important to understand those brake settings on the moustache. Hands up means full speed. Brake toggles at the end of the risers, that's around the stall point. And then the brake toggles, where the left right marks are, that's kind of 20 cm above the end of the riser, that's around the best glide position. It's very important to understand those three settings. For maximum safety, flying in turbulence with your moustache, we absolutely recommend you to fly active. The neutral position to fly active is the best glide position. So at the left right mark of the risers and from this point on we fly active. So how to turn your moustache? If you want to make a steep turn, you release the toggles as much as possible, use as much weight shift as possible and only pull as little or inside break as needed. And then your moustache is going to make a really steep turn. It dives a lot and it picks up a lot of speed. The opposite, if you want to make a really flat turn, you need to keep as much outside break as possible. Also use a lot of weight shift and only release the outside break as much as you need to get your moustache turning. The more you release your outside break, the more your moustache is going to dive. For turning, most important is that you don't spin your moustache. So don't force the turns. Um, your hands are somewhere around here. They're above the end of the risers. Don't pull lower than the end of the riser to make a turn for the moustache or there's a risk of spinning your moustache. One situation we found is tricky with the moustache is when you're soaring and there is very little wind and you can hardly stay up because then we're kind of flying already at the minimum speed with not a lot of speed reserve left and then you still have to turn around for soaring obviously then it's important to release the outside brake and not pull even more on the inside we think this is a tricky situation where it's very easy to spin your moustache so be careful when soaring in light winds with your moustache. Also when flying very slowly near to the stall speed, for example soaring in light winds, it's important to understand with brake toggles almost completely pulled, you have absolutely no flare left. If you go hands up, you have the best flare ever. You have an endless flare, but if you're down here, there's nothing left. So you don't want to be flying without any extra speed without any reserve left close to the ground. That's very tricky. If you hit some sinking air and you need some flare, you don't have it. So when you fly close to the ground, always have some speed reserve left. Otherwise you have no flare. When flying near to the stall point, don't fly close to the terrain. You have no flare left. No speed, no flare. While flying, never let go the brake handles completely because they go up very far and it's hard to grab them again. It might take more time than you think. However, if you're standing on the ground handling your wing, it's no problem letting them go. The reflex uh, prevents your wing from collapsing and overshooting. Don't fly with a lot of sand in your wing. The sand will take out the reflex and make your wing unstable and much more likely to collapse. 
never control your moustache with the back risers or the brake lines directly. Only control your moustache with the brake handles. Since we fly much faster on a moustache than with regular wings, you also need to choose a bigger landing. It's very easy to overshoot with a moustache. Remember, it has endless flare power. We realized to slow your moustache down at the end of the flare, it works great to make a so-called two-stage flare. So instead of slowly pulling the brake handles to the stall point, at the very end, we pull them down a little more quick to get a little bit lift, a half a meter. We release them and then we pull them one more time. And we call it a two-stage flare to get rid of the energy. To land your moustache in no winds, you have to run quite a lot. And uh, we realized if you make a two-stage flare at the end of the flare, instead of just slowly pulling the brake handles to the stall point, with this first pump, let them go, and then a second flare before you land works really great. You can get rid of a lot of speed, much more than with a constant flare.